Well, we have reports tonight that the gunman who opened fire inside an LAPD police station had once applied to the LA Police Academy but was rejected. And now we've learned the officer who survived several shots wasn't wearing a bulletproof vest. Gunfire exploded last night at the LAPD's West Traffic Division in Mid-City. KCAL 9's Randy Page has today's stunning developments and what they found in the suspect's home. An amazing story of survival. An amazing story punctuated by the evidence. A bullet hole in the shirt worn by the wounded officer and this small tear made by the gunman's bullet in the holster of the backup gun the officer was wearing inside his front pocket. It is an amazing, uh, an amazing story that, that he will be here with us. L.A. Police Chief Charlie Beck says it happened last night around 8 p.m. when a lone gunman walked into the Wilshire Division's West Traffic Division front desk and opened fire. Behind the desk, a male and female officer. Both officers drew their weapons and fired back, one while he was wounded, as they stared down the barrel of a 40-millimeter Glock handgun, firing bullets in their direction. The male officer was hit at least three times, and he wasn't wearing a bullet-resistant vest. He was hit twice in the shoulder, once in the side, and a fourth potentially lethal bullet was stopped by the gun he was carrying in his pants pocket. They responded courageously. Uh, they did what we expect them to do, but it's, it's more than an expectation, it's a hope. Because believe me, courage under fire is a very difficult thing. The suspected gunman was wounded by police and taken into custody. He is identified as 29-year-old Danny Yelu. Police say they recovered this arsenal in his apartment, including hundreds of rounds of ammunition, and in the backseat of his car, police recovered this assault weapon. Our search of the records reveals Yelu was a registered security guard whose license expired last year. We found a firearm permit that was also expired. Apartments in Yelu's building all face into a courtyard with a swimming pool. We spoke to many residents here who told us they all know each other well, except for the man who lives in apartment 32. We've never really exchanged conversation, nothing, you know, he just kind of head down, just keeps walking, so, you know. So never exchanged eye contact, for example? Not even, nope, mm-mm. -mm. Kind of, yeah, he kind of just, he's in his own little bubble. Did you ever try saying hello? All, all the time. And what would he do? Just kind of, I don't know, walk right past you. Very, kind of scarily, actually. And I just confirmed, speaking to Commander Andrew Smith at the LAPD, that Daniel Yalu did apply to the police academy, but was not accepted. Live in Mid-City, Randy Page, CBS 2 News.